Oh, right, good morning my friends. Bit of a run along the, the River Thames. Actually, no, a lot of other people are running. Too energetic for me. I figured what I'd do is something a little bit more healthy today and go for a full English breakfast again. Hey, <laughs> so we're in Surbiton today. I've got Damien with me, who's off camera there. He looks as if he's going fishing though. Are you going fishing? Not today. <laughs> he's getting ready for the fish and chips later. That's another story and don't go anywhere because we've got a famous fish and chip shop that literally hundreds of people have asked me to review, but that's, that's by the by. Stop right there, stop right there. <clears throat> okay, so we never actually made it to that fish and chip shop. However, it is a great breakfast, so don't miss this one. Keep watching. Uh, the fish and chip shop was Christie's, which lots and lots of people have asked me to go to. However, I am gonna head back and I am gonna do that fish and chip shop. Anyway, uh, back to the video. Because today we're going for breakfast in a place called Surbiton, or if you're American, it's Surbiton, as my mate used to say. Uh, we're going to take Damien with us. Uh, he looks like he's ready to go on a trawler out on the uh, River Thames here. We're going to go and mark it out of 10. I think it's called Surbiton Cafe. We've been in uh, Kingston on Thames, but I couldn't find anywhere in Kingston on Thames that did a nice full English breakfast. If you do know anywhere in Kingston on Thames, let me know because it seems to lack greasy spoons. Anyway, come on. Without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, quick question. Mm -hmm. You're American now. Ish. Ish. You've got your American passport, so you're, you're an American. Okay, technically. Okay, technically an American. English breakfast uh -huh. or American breakfast, which is the best? English, because Americans trying to do English haven't got the bacon, haven't got the sausage. Anyone can do eggs, eggs are eggs. But it's the beans, the mushrooms, the tomatoes, or tomatoes they like, that make the difference. They like beans in America, don't they? But they're not Heinz. And they're not Heinz beans. No, they're not. They're, I uh, can't remember what they are actually. Nor do I bet. If Heinz is listening, donate now. Yes, see you later. Come on, onwards. Oh. By the way, this is rested on what is called, apparently, a pillar box. Why was it called a pillar box? It's a post box, isn't it? Damien went, oh, rest it on the pillar box. I said, pillar box? Oh yeah, why is it called a pillar box? Comments down below. Right, here we are, Surbiton Cafe. Oh yes. Now this gets a good write-up and we're going to mark it out of 10. I want you guys to mark it out of 10 on Lux alone as well. Damien's gone in to get a seat. People are waving to me through the window. There we go. So we're going to head in here and we're going to have a bite to eat. And I tell you what, I've walked about a mile and a half, so I've worked up an appetite, so let's go in. Right, so uh, Damien's gonna go for set two, which is egg, bacon, sausage, bubble. That's what I was looking for, actually. Um, beans and toast, and one toast. We're gonna go for one set two, please. Um, I was gonna go for set six, but can I add some bubble on that as well, please? Uh, and a latte for me as well, please. Uh, and you, you've got you, you've got your tea. Thank you very much. I didn't know they'd do bubble. You've got to have a bit of bubble, a bit of babble. Looking forward to this. Right, 
Right, so here we go, we've got the breakfast. As you may have noticed, I did add some uh, tin tomatoes on there as well. Uh, we've got the two sausages, uh, we've got the uh, the eggs on top of the fried bread there, a little bit of babble on there as well. Uh, we've got some toast on the side, bacon, beans, got the HP and the ketchup, we're gonna have a mixture of both. Damien's already started tucking into his. Um, before we go any further and I, and I wreck this and make the most of it, take a closer look, my friends. Right, we'll get a little bit of pepper on. I like a little bit of pepper. Did you put pepper on yours? I did. You did? There we go. Let's get some pepper on them eggs there. A little bit of salt as well. And then we'll dig in. Incidentally, by the way, Damien tells me, Reginald Perry was filmed down the road, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, I think so. Uh, well, if you know different, comments down below. And also, The Good Life apparently was filmed around somewhere mm -hmm. around here. Um, let's dig into the bubble. Love a little bit of bubble. Oh yeah, man, that's good. Right, we'll go into the sausage. Slight bend on the sausage, which is always a good sign. You like a bent sausage, don't you, Damien? Give Ron Cray your sausage. <laughs> He's laughing now. Uh, too early. <laughs> too early. <laughs> we'll go in for the sausage. That looks a nice sausage, look at that. Oh yeah. Oh man, that is a good sausage. Wow. Oh yeah. Boy. Oh man. Mm. Hot as well. Going for the bacon. Very nice. No fat on the bacon, that's good. Look at them tomatoes. Proper tin tomatoes then. None of that posh stuff where you cut a tomato in arse, in arse, in arse, half. Oh, this is good. Arse. It's a family channel, this. Did I say to cut them in half? Half? Yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. This is great. Beans. Mmm. Nice beans. Tell you what, I do love a little bit of bubble now. And we don't get this. I was going to say up north, but in the Midlands. We don't get bubble. Anything past Watford Gap, you're not going to get bubble. All right, you may know different. Right, I'm going to eat this, then come back to you. See you guys in a minute. Right, okay, I've got to tell you, that was good. Pretty damn good. That was very, very good. I, I'll go through it quickly uh, and mark my score. Uh, you pop your score in the comments down below as well. Damien's got his score in his head, but he's not sharing it with me yet. Um, bubble, very nice. Um, eggs, the eggs, I should have asked for over easy because I don't like them that yellow. Uh, so, but that's my fault. Uh, I have to say on that one because yeah. I could have asked for it uh, and I always forget about that got a nice fried bread on there the tomatoes 
excellent tin tomatoes. I like the fact that you can build it yourself as well. The sausages were very nice. And we all know, I love a bent sausage. Give Ron Cray your sausage. <laughs> Look at him, it's a family channel. Absolutely. <laughs> it was very, very good. And you said the toast, fresh bread. Yeah, sliced from a fresh loaf. Yeah, sliced from a fresh loaf. Coffee was lovely. They were very accommodating in there. Um, I mean, the bacon was nice. There was no fat on the bacon. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna go. I've got to tell you, I mean, the price was 21.20. Here's a copy of the receipt. Um, and don't forget, we are in uh, kind. It's not London. It's it's Kingston on Thames, but it is London kind yeah, of. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much London, isn't it? So, I think for all that, I don't think that was too bad personally. I know if you're in Leeds or Mansfield or Newcastle, you can probably get a breakfast for, you know, three pound fifty or less. But we we are in a a, a Londonish kind of area. Um, we're not going to Weatherspoons at nine in the morning. And we're not going to Weatherspoons at nine in the morning. I mean. No, all in all, I'm going to give that a 9.5. And if you ask why I take the 0.5 off, I'm going to say because I would have probably liked my bubble a little bit more. And sometimes you get it a little bit more crispy, crispier, yeah, bit blackened, bit, 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 bit blackened, which I like. But that's only my personal preference. Other than that, highly recommend it. Come to Surbiton and go to Surbiton Cafe because you won't be disappointed. Uh, over to you. What did you reckon? Nine and a half as well. Snap. Yeah, snap. Um, negativities in my point of view. Just the fact that it was a tea bag in the cup rather than poured from a pot. There you go, you still see you still are English, aren't you? There you go. Alright, that's all from me today. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button, click the thumbs up before you leave, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, pub. Let's go. Come on. I did it. That was a huge poo today. <laughs> Maybe I should leave that in on the vo on the voiceover. <laughs> Number six for the trip. Number six. <laughs>